now. Uh, we will start with questions in the chat. First one, first question is from Brendan Shabath from Impact Sports. Hey Malik, how's your face feeling? Uh, it's good actually. I didn't actually land on my face. I uh, got got quick enough to block it with my elbows and my feet. So just a couple bruises, but I'm fine. <laughs> Glad to hear it. My uh, actual question has to deal with the bench play against Duke. Uh, your coach talked about prior to the game, how important it is to have a deep bench uh, like you guys do, and you guys go nine or 10 deep or so. Um, mm -hmm. How exciting was it to see you guys come out there and, and contribute like that? Marble had a really good game. You played well yourself. How much did that mean to you guys? Uh, I think it's a big thing, you know. Uh, if anybody feels like tired or somebody falls off and isn't doing so well, I think that's the the great part about depth is, you know, being able to have a, a next man, man up type of team and people being able to come in and do their thing, even if somebody's having an off day because they know that, you know, next week it could be roles could be reversed. Next, we'll go to Chris Solari from the Detroit Pre Press. Well, the coach talked a lot about the, the lack of ball movement that in the Duke game, I guess, what can you attribute that to? And, and how much of that can, can change, you know, just having already now gotten back to facing more man defense than, than you had in the first two games? Um, I think we kind of just weren't used to the pressure yet. And um, they did a really good job of, you know, applying pressure and getting up and on get, getting up on us uh, as soon as they crossed the half court line. So, I think it was just, a, you know, we needed a little time to adjust at first in that first half, and we kind of did a little bit better in the second. But it's something that we stressed a lot in practice this week. So you, you should see some, some major improvements. Next question is from Lindsey Huddleston. Thank you. Hey, Malik, uh, if you Google the word glue guy, uh, USA Basketball has a description of that, and they talk about Shane Battier. Watching you in a Duke game, it seemed like you were kind of involved in some of everything. Is, is a glue guy a fair reference to you? And, and was your game always like that? Uh, I think it is. Um, I mean, my game, you know, it's had to adapt to a lot of different things um, since I was young. And I actually, when I was younger, I was supposed to be a point guard because I always played up. And then, you know, as I got older, I was taller than everybody. So I became a center. And then, you know, I think it helped me create my versatility and just be able to, you know, do multiple things at once and just help out the team however I can now. So, I mean, I think I think it's a good fit. Yeah, I think it's paying off, man. Good luck with you, okay? Thank you. We'll go to Dalton Shatler from the Spartan Sports Network. Yeah. Hey, Malik, congrats on the, the big game there last time out. Um, I'm a little bit curious there with yourself, Julius Marble, Hauser, Bingham, I mean, all the bigs. Uh, what does that give you guys on a night in night out basis in terms of matchups? Like, how much flexibility and uh, maybe wiggle room creativity does that give you guys? I think it gives us a lot of room. You know, I feel like we can match up with any team in the country. We can go really big and have a lineup where it's the three, four, and the five are all above six, seven. And then we can go small where our five is six nine and the four is six seven you know I think I think it just helps us in the long run and you know I, I think it's a really good thing and then next question is from Stephen Brooks from 24 7 sports hey Malik I uh, hope you're doing well uh, I want to ask you you know when you when you guys go to Duke and win the way you did you know, falling behind early coming back beating that team beating the best team you guys have played yet um long term what do you think or hope that can do for you guys, uh, whether it's sort of mental or on the court or whatever, but what do you think is the big top line takeaway from that performance? Um, I think it's a, a mental thing was probably the biggest takeaway, you know, being able to see that we can compete with the best teams in the country. And I think I actually said that in like the interview I had just before we left, I, I thought that it that's what it would be. And I think that's what we got from it, you know, knowing that you can compete against anybody in this country, even the best teams, uh, I think I think it's a big thing for our team. It'll be good as we get down further down the road. And also, as you look at this weekend, you know, with respect to your opponents, of course, but two mid-major teams, and then you'll go back and play another ACC for the, for these next two. 
of course, getting the win, but beyond that, what sort of the sub goals or the, the secondary goals that you think you guys want to get accomplished here against uh, Detroit and then Western? Um, we were talking about a lot of, a lot about on the offensive side about ball movement and, um, you know, getting the ball flowing through our offense and, and pushing on the brakes and stuff like that uh, as far as offense. And I think those would be two major things for us as, as we go into these next two games. All right. Thank you, man. Mm -hmm. Here's that's the last question for uh, Malik. If anyone has any, uh, we could probably take one more, but otherwise uh, I think we'll be ready to just let him go because I know he does have some schoolwork to do tonight.